It was a solemn mood at the Chiromo morgue when relatives of those killed in the terror attack arrived to identify the bodies of their loved ones. <laughs> Response teams were on the ground to support the bereaved and offer the much-needed support. As friends and family received confirmation of death of their loved ones, they grieved in different ways. Others fainted, others cried, others wailed, others just sat in silence, albeit different ways, all a characteristic of pain, of loss. Emotions were so high that all wanted to access the facility at the same time, creating a commotion. Please have some order to Indiana order. Some were however not lucky despite having been told that their loved ones were among the casualties. <laughs> Islovia's Mbeli lost her boyfriend who had come visiting. So I went to Avenue Hospital, I went to Mpisha, I went to Nairobi, I went to Kenyatta. That the, the, the same thing made yesterday. He was never to be seen. So I came back and I was advised to wait still. So I, I, I thought that I, I was thinking that maybe he's alive. So I was pessimistic about his um, whereabouts. So in the morning, when I came here around, in, in the morning, it was, it was around 4 o'clock, I was being told to wait. Then it's when they just spoke to me that they were starting dead. For the survivors, this was a moment to thank God for being alive. Uh, we were on the first floor of Grosvenor. Uh, it took us, it took us, not more than 30 minutes uh, when we were out of the building. But some of our colleagues went back to the office and they were rescued later around 8, 8 p.m. So luckily we didn't manage to uh, set eye contact, but the gunshots were very close to where we were at the time. Some were allowed to transfer the remains of their loved ones to other facilities of their choice for preservation. As friends and family continue to identify their loved ones, it is their hope that this process will be completed in time and fast for them to be able to offer their loved ones a decent burial unlike the death that they had to encounter in the gruesome attack. For Channel 1 News, I'm Betty Kiptum.